Hey, hi guys. Welcome to PCF. Oh, this is Srinivas Pujar. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the current day sales, previous day sales and day over day, like, uh, you know, variance between the previous day and current day and uh, the sales percentage growth. And also the same way we will go and uh, we'll see the month over month sales also. In the next video, we'll see, you know, quarter and year, uh, year over year sales and then quarter or quarter sales, we'll see that. Okay, so now uh, what we'll do, so we'll go with the, you know, we'll take one sample data. So I'm going with the, you know, uh, SQL Server. Uh, so SQL Server, Adventure Works, I'm going to connect. So my uh, is local server, right? So just I'm going with the dot. So just click uh, dot here and then provide, click OK. So here my database is Adventure Works DW 2019. So if you are uh, no, if you don't have uh, installed you you don't install your uh, you know SQL Server and then you don't have Adventure Works DW twenty nineteen. So I have clearly explained how to install the SQL Server. So step by step process and also I will provide that link in the this uh, video uh, how to install and how to add the Adventure Works DW and all. So just to go and then uh, you know use that. Okay, uh, dim date. Uh, so I'm selecting the dim date and uh, then fact internet sales. Okay, fact internet sales. Okay, this two I'm selecting and then so click load. Okay, click load. So it's loading the data. So once we load, so what we'll do? So we'll do the current sales. For current sales, you can go and then. You know, current uh, day sale, okay, you can go with the total sales amount, okay. So then, um, so here you need to understand about the current day. So what is the current day? And then previous day, we have a function for the previous day function. So we can use time intelligence previous day function. So the previous day function uh, will always give the previous day totals. And then we will do the variance, okay, uh, current day minus so variance means like, so current day uh, sales minus previous day sales. And then the percentage growth, okay, per percentage growth, this is the formula guys, okay. So that may be, you know, YTD percentage growth and then anything. So the current sales minus previous sales divided by the previous sales into 100. Okay, this is the formula to, uh, you know, get with the percentage growth, okay. So now I have connected the, you know, two tables and also they have the, you know, default relationships. Okay. So I'm not going to change any relationship. Now what we'll do, so I'm going with the new page. So here, what I will check, so I will create one major that is a total sales amount. So, so that will give when you, you know, go with the day or month or, you know, anything, okay, it will give the you know, uh, current sales for that. If you check with the month and it will um, current sales for the month, if you go with the you know, day, it will give the current day sales. Okay. So here, and that's the reason I'm going with the total sales. Okay. Total sales. So that is sum of sales amount. Okay. Sum of sales amount. So this is the sum of sales amount and then select that and then enter. So first we have done the sum of sales amount and then go here and then go with the full date key so select that and also you can select the total sales amount okay total sales amount okay let's increase the font size okay so yeah now what we'll do we'll do the previous sales amount okay for that i'm going to use the Calculate uh, sum of sales amount for that pre previous day uh, is there. So we can use the previous day function. Okay, you should know about the previous day function. So to uh, know this, okay. So this is the previous day. So I'm writing the measure name as previous day uh, equal to calculate sum of uh, whatever the total sales amount we have, you know, created the measure. So I'm using that measure. Okay, if, if you are not clear about how to do the calculate, how to work with the calculate and all. So I have clearly explained the filter functions on my YouTube channel. So you can go and then check the uh, filter functions case, okay. So um, so in calculate total sales amount, sales amount and then I'm going with the previous day. So this is the time intelligence function, previous day. So there you have to give a full date key. So what it will do, it will move the all dates to the previous days. 
and then it will do the sum of sales amount. Okay. So what previous day will do? So all dates it will move to the previous day, and then so when it is moved to the previous day, here it will do the sum of sales amount. Okay. That's what uh, the you know, previous day we will calculate the previous day total sales amount like this. Okay, and then enter. And you can select the previous day. Uh, so now click here. So let's write here and then right click. See, so this is giving the previous day sales amount. Okay, this is the current day and this is the previous day. This current day and this previous day, previous day. So like this it's giving. So now you can go with the variance. Okay, so total, uh, so current minus previous. Okay, you can go with the variance. So day over day sales, we will call it as a variance means day over day. So you can go with the new measure, um, day over day. Or else you can go with the D, V, D, or day over day. So you can go with the okay, day over day sales. Day over day sales, you can go with that and then uh, do uh, you know variance between the total sales amount uh, minus, you know, previous day previous so this is the measure okay so you should understand the difference between okay if you write a major name and then you know uh, so um, and uh, your you know function name function name will have the effects and measure name will have the you know calculator symbol it's okay so to try to understand okay if you give the same name so don't get confused okay if it is a function, it will have the FX. If it is a major, it will have the calculator symbol. So don't get confused that. Okay. So now click enter. So click enter. So it will create the variance between the so current day and then previous day. So let's go and then select that. Okay. If you want, sorry, uh, I didn't select that uh, no existing table. So that is the reason it's giving the uh, so just go and then select that. Now you can go and then select the day over day. So here you can uh, find the variance. Okay, if you want to do so, do some calculation. So current minus previous. So it's giving this something like this. Okay. So you can even you can open a calculator and you can test that. Okay, the formula will work as exactly the so the variance. Okay, now the percentage growth. Okay, what is the percentage growth? Okay, so go here. So the percentage growth current day minus previous day. So we have already done this. Okay, this is the day over day sales divided by the previous sales into 100. Okay, into 100. So that's what we are going to do. Okay, current sales amount. Okay, so now, so this is the percentage growth for the day. Okay, you can go with the percentage growth. Percentage growth is equal to uh, day over day day over day. So for major, we don't require, major is not belongs to any table. We don't require any table. Uh, so divided by, so divided by uh, previous day sales. Okay, previous uh, day sales into 100. Okay, into 100. Sorry, into. Okay, into 100. This will give the sales percentage growth of your uh, sales. Okay, so now you can go and then select the sales percentage growth. So now uh, let's click here, go here and see this is the percentage growth. So here the problem is that, guys. okay. So something divided by zero means you will get an infinity when you use the, you know, uh, divided by operator. Okay. Divided by operator. Okay. You cannot use divided by operator. It will not handle the, you know, infinity kind of things. Okay. To avoid that. So we'll go with the divide function. So divide uh, function will handle the safe. You know? So here is the definition case. Okay. See safe divided function. Uh, you can go with the ability to handle the divided by zero cases. Okay. If you have any divided by zero cases, so you can go with the, you know, so hand to handle that zero cases okay this is a, a syntax is that numerator comma denominator and uh, alternative results okay so numerator comma denominator and uh, uh, sorry you can go with the alternative results here so like when we get the infinity so just you can go with the zero and then enter so 
that's it so it will fix that see so zero where we have the infinity so it's giving zero see okay so this is the percentage growth if you want a percentage symbol so just uh, you can click on the percentage symbol in, uh, after removing this into 100 okay so that way we can go uh, that is about the uh, no um, current month pre uh, sorry current day previous day and then um, uh, day over day sales and then percentage growth the same for month okay if you go with the you know so same formulas only so uh, i'm not going to change anything so instead of a previous day we'll go with the so let's take the you know full date key so take that and uh, so the total sales amount you can go with the total sales amount so and so the previous day so instead of previous day we'll go with the previous so yes So instead of previous day, we'll go with the previous month. Okay. So for that, I'm so to easy to easy to uh, for easy understanding, I'm removing the day hierarchy. So it will be a month sales now. So if you go with the previous month, okay. Instead of you know uh, previous day, so let's go here. So I will change the previous month. Okay. So we just I will change the previous month. So here you can you know so you can create a separate measure or else you can take the same copy and then so create a new measure. So create a new measure there i will change instead of previous day i will change previous month so here so instead of previous day i will go with the previous month okay so now click enter so previous day is already there so so that i need i need to rename it, rename it to previous month okay so now so that is the reason it's giving the already previous day is existed okay just enter so previous month okay you can select the previous month now so just to select the previous month so it's giving the a month so previous month sales so go and see see this is the current month and this is the previous month okay this is the current month and this is the previous month okay you can check that so you can clearly understand the differences okay this is the previous month this is the current month this is the previous month this is the current month so like that okay and also the variance okay you can go with the you know day over day variance okay you can take a copy and then same formula for the day over day so just take that uh, and then so let's take so let's take a copy and then okay uh, go with the new measure so he, this time we'll go with the month over month sales month over month over month sales okay so month over month sales uh, here so instead of day i'm going with the month okay so and click enter and uh, you can type mvm sales okay this is the month over month sales case okay so you can go and then select this month over month so it will give the variance between the months two months see just a minute let me increase the font size so table size so the differences okay so you can see the differences just i have done the subscribe uh, subscribe uh, subtraction between the uh, current uh, sales and the previous sales case okay current sales and then previous sales okay now we'll go with the percentage growth okay month over month sales percentage growth okay month over month over month percentage growth so you can go with the growth okay just growth is equal to so what is the formula current minus previous so that we have already done the variance right so you can go with the month over month sales okay you can go with the month over month sales divided by the previous sales okay divided by so instead of going the divided by so we'll go with the divide function right okay use divide function so the, uh, then uh, we can go with the numerator comma denominator so you can use the denominator so denominator is our uh, you know previous month sales okay so previous month so uh, previous month into 100 so into 100 and then click ok so if you want so alternative results case okay we have alternative results zero so when we have an infinity, we can give the zero. Okay, so that is the 
um, way to do the calculations, right? So this is the month over month sales percentage growth. You can go and then select that. So it will give the percentage growth. So even you can take any one of these, okay? And then you can check the percentage growth, guys, okay? It will give the no, same one, okay? So this is about the, you know, day over day, month over month, and uh, so uh, percentage growth and all. Hope this, you know, uh, useful for you, okay? If you like uh, video and then comment for more uh, videos for motivation, for, for, for my motivation, so give a comment and then hit the like button and then subscribe my channel if you watch the first time, guys, okay? For more videos, okay, I will do, um, you know, daily, daily some videos for useful videos. Okay, please subscribe my channel, guys. Okay, thank you. So um, even I want to do the uh, uh, quarter over quarter sales, okay, current quarter and previous quarter and the quarter over quarter sales and then current year, previous year and uh, so we'll do the, you know, previous year sales as well. But the thing is, the video is length is very, you know, high now. So that is the reason I'm going to this current and the month. So, okay. Thank you. Hope you like the video, guys.